Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of the Gumpla Network News. I'm The Spicer and today's episode of the news is brought to you by none other than those fine folks over at Canadian Gundam. Canadian Gundam is your one-stop shop for all things Gunpla and Plamo here in North America. With flat rate shipping to the US and Canada, a private warehouse option, and a vast catalog, they're going to have just about anything you're looking for. So when you're checking that vast catalog and placing your next order, don't forget to use the promo code GUMPLA NETWORK to save yourself 10% off. Now, this is a kind of weird episode of the news because it's a lot of P Bandai, uh, especially coming out of a pretty big news drop, and a crossover. So <laughs> we're going to have a variety of things to look at. Starting off, we have the Mobile Suit Gundam franchise teaming up with Hatsune Miku. It is the 45th anniversary this year of the Mobile Suit Gundam franchise, and to celebrate the metaverse, Bandai Namco, whoever <laughs> runs that whole thing, is hosting a Hatsune Miku concert via the metaverse in December. So this is a live performance you can show up to in the metaverse and be there to celebrate Gundam. No idea whether <laughs> if it's a bunch of Hatsune, Muku, Hatsune Miku songs or if it's going to be Gundam related or if it's just a bunch of Gundam visuals. That is also tied into some Hatsune Miku news where they are making a movie set to release in January 2025 based on a mobile game that Miku is in or that is Miku's. So if you're a big Miku fan, this is great news for you. If you don't really care for uh, Miku, then cool, moving on. By far the most exciting piece of news to come out recently, uh, at least for me personally, is the real grade Shining Gundam. Now, we don't have like a lot of details. We just got some promotional art here uh, with a release date of 2025 sometime. No idea when. Don't have a price yet but the promotional images look great. This is gonna go well with the already existing uh, Burning Gundam, or God Gundam, depending on which name you wanna use. And it does make me curious if we're going to see a Master Gundam. Like, this is, I don't wanna say odd for the real grade line to be fairly consistent like this, but there is usually a little bit more variation year to year, and the Burning Gundam is still a pretty new kit. So, you know, fingers crossed if you're a G, G Gundam fan, we'll see maybe some of the Shuffle Alliance. Probably not because all the P Bandai high grades, but maybe the Master Gundam or a P Bandai Devil Gundam. Now, speaking of P Bandai, we also have a bunch of P Bandai releases, starting with the high grade After Colony Leo R, with a release date of January 2025 and a price tag of 2,420 Japanese yen. This comes from the G-Unit side story. This is a customized Leo. There are three different versions from that side story, and this is kind of the quick lancery type, and it looks pretty cool. It has weird hair. Um, that's a little strange, but outside of that, it's a cool adaptation of the Leo, and honestly, the more weird crunt suits like this we get, the better. We also have the P Bandai High Grade Gelgoog Menace Standard Colors with a release date of October 2024 and a price tag of 3,190 Japanese yen. Little weird in terms of this color choice. I don't think it's bad, uh, but they do pick a purple color for the standard color version. It almost like they already did the Dom and they did it relatively close to like it's obviously not this deep of a purple or this bluish of a purple, but it is weird that the, the Gelkug and the Dom are both purple uh, instead of doing kind of like the more traditional UC adaptation. But regardless, I think it looks fine. Um, it's not a bad color. I think the purple, the blackish or the very, very deep green and the orange work pretty well. We also have the P Bandai High Grade Figure View Torch or Touche or something. I'm sure you guys will tell me in the comments. With well, a release date of October 2024 and a price tag of 2,420 Japanese yen. Big ol' leg thrusters. This is the Avalanche Exia, but for the Witch from Mercury. 
It does have some cool gimmicks though. It does have some panels for some beam sabers, some claws, the little ball pod thingies move. Uh, and it's almost in a way kind of like the original like ground type version of the Kamaris, which is pretty neat because it had like the cool, like whole centaur thing going on. Uh, but regardless, it's cool to see more Witch for Mercury kits come out. I like a lot of the design philosophy from that show because it's so varied. So I'm glad we're still seeing kits come out of it. We also have the P Bandai Master Grade F93. So F90 and then three individual uh, marks. Dash Y Cluster Gundam. With a release date of October 2024 and a price tag of 6,600 Japanese yen. And this is another version of the F90 Gundam. And it still looks good. Like, most all of the F90s look pretty good. Uh, and this is just more of that. So if you're a big F90 fan, get hype because you're getting more stuff. We also have the P-Bandai Master Grade Gundam Astrea Plus Prototype GN Twin Blade. With a release date of January 2025 and a price tag of 7,150 Japanese yen. So this is your baseline <clears throat> Astrea. Uh, we've seen this before. The Astrea is starting to get to the point where it's, I think, maybe got more variants than the Exia at this point. I'd, I'd have to check that, but it is a lot. And it has a big old sword. Big old double sword based on the uh, GN blades that the Exia uses, uh, but just bigger. Looks pretty cool. More Astrayas are cool. Like, more double O stuff. Like, keep that going. Uh, always really digged that kind of... The Astrayas has been used for so many things, and, you know, some of it's going to hit, obviously. So, uh, if you're a big double O fan or an Astraya fan, get hype. We also have the P Bandai Master Grade Narrative Gundam B Packs Verka, with a version that is the full set and then just the equipment pack. The full set, which I imagine is the Gundam and the B Packs, has a release date of November 2024 and a price tag of 10000 450 Japanese yen. The equipment pack itself is also being released in November of 2024 for a price tag of 2,860 Japanese yen. So if you already have the narrative Gundam Verkai, you can just buy the B packs equipment. But if you were wanting this version initially anyway, you can buy the whole set. And well, it is a pretty penny for a P Bandai Verkai. That's not too crazy. And last and most definitely not least, we have a Gundam Base Limited release in the high grade Gundam FSD with prototype long range beam rifle. That's a mouthful. Set to release October 2024, or October 12th, 2024 more specifically, on a price tag of 2,860 Japanese yen. And this is the Gundam Base exclusive version of the. It's not a heavy version Gundam or full armor version Gundam, but we've seen this version before, and I think we've seen this beam rifle on something else, but we get to see them both here in some kind of special release for the uh, Gundam base limited line, and you know, it looks good. I mean, this beam rifle works pretty well with this version of the Gundam. I like the chain gun on the arm, that's pretty sick. Uh, and yeah, this is, is pretty neat. So. Out of all of the news, let us know in the comments down below what you're most excited about. Obviously, for me, it's the Shining Gundam. Let's, let's be real. More G Gundam releases, please. Uh, and, you know, if you have... I didn't talk about it. But if you have watched Gundam Requiem for Vengeance on Netflix and you liked it, let us know in the comments below. If you didn't like it, let us know in the comments below why. And if you want to see stuff related to that, maybe we'll do some stuff. Let us know if, what you guys think. Regardless, thanks for sticking with me, guys. I do truly appreciate it. And as always, do your best to stay safe and keep on building.